Hello everyone. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Zimbos in Korea. It's been a while. You haven't seen any video on our channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to find Korean scholarships. This information will help you anytime you want to look for a scholarship. So what you need to do is to check which institution or which major you want to to firstly your major and then check for different institution for scholarships so i'll give you one uh, about four examples maybe three or four examples of where to find scholarships the good thing about korean scholarships is when you look for them there is no agent scholarship agent like other countries like turkey uh, Europe and other USA, Australian country or wherever where you see people going through agents to look for scholarships. Korean scholarships, you simply search on Google, you simply search on the website, you simply search for information from other people who give reviews of scholarships. There is no middleman. If you use any middleman, you are just wasting your money or even risking to be scammed. So this information we try to be to make it go out because Korean scholarships are just there for everyone to try. So I will show you the what am I doing? The university share screen. I'm sharing screen so that you see scholarship type number one so i'm giving one example i don't know if i've said about, my, about myself my name is shelia so i studied on this university at this university called kemyang university in Daegu. they offered a partial scholarship where i got full dormitory korean language training and uh, the dormitory was like breakfast and dinner provided and a partial allowance so that scholarship was kind of uh, sufficient that time I think it was one of the not so bad scholarships because it was offering dormitory and tuition so but this scholarship is not listed on their website um, so when you go to any Korean website, university website, it's not written in, maybe sometimes it will be all in Korean. So you have to look for English. So you see, I clicked English. I hope it will direct me to English right here. So it's loading, loading. I think my internet is slow. I want to show you where to find the scholarships. Wow, my internet is very slow. Very, very slow. Very slow internet. I guess let me stop internet sharing. Because I don't think I can do anything if the internet is so slow like this. To just open a simple page, it's taking so long. So I've closed all other open pages. So anyway, let me put the link here. I know people will watch later. This our YouTube channel has been idle for a long time. So now we want to revive our channel. So that's the link where I'm looking at right now oh the internet is really bad uh, oh okay now i got a page which opened so let me share screen of that page stop and share the open page Okay, so yeah, 
This is the English website of the Kokemian University. Oh, I forgot to share with my Facebook. Facebook. Uh, let me add Facebook. Okay. Because I forgot. Hello, people watching on Facebook. I am live on YouTube Symbols in Korea. I'm talking about scholarships in South Korea. If you want to study in Korea, you have to follow these steps that I have explained. For the sake of people joining from Facebook, I'll simply say this information works anytime, like whenever you want to look for a scholarship in Korea. Just know that there are no agents, scholarship agencies in Korea. You simply have to go to the university website or the Korean em embassy website to look for information for yourself. If you go to any scholarship agents for studying in Korea, you're just risking losing your money. So I don't advise anyone to do that. The only thing you can just do is to look for the information online so i'm going to show you where you can get the scholarship so i've started with kemyang university because this is where i started with my first scholarship that i got so the website sometimes it will be in korean then you have to switch to english you see the language yeah so international programs academics admission okay so you see, if you go to admissions, you can see that scholarships pop up. So the scholarships part is what, where we want. And there you see from the scholarships page, right there, you see, depending on the language proficiency, 20 to 100% of to total tuition fees, excluding mat matriculation fee, like when, when applying, like, yeah, for international students may be supported by Kemen University. Like when you are applying for admission, this one is in, excluded. It's only the tuition fee. It may depend on the language proficiency. And there are several of them. Uh, scholarship one, recommendation from department, you get 20%. Scholarship 2, topic level 3, you get 30%. Like this is for people whose native language is English. And scholarship 3, topic level 4, TOEFL, or other kind of English uh, scores, you get 50% of the tuition waiver for the next semester. So scholarship 1, 2, 3, it's like per semester, like they are saying. And then scholarship four, topic level five, 60% of the tuition. Topic five, uh, scholarship five, level six, 70% of tuition. And then special excellence scholarship. This one they say is step topic level six and hold an average grade of 95 or higher from previous semester, no grade requirement for freshmen, 100% of tuition fee. So you see the conditions of the scholarship. Scholarship will be awarded for four semesters if you make a minimum of six credits each semester without any failed course and maintain 80 points in average. So in case of special excellence scholarship, you should maintain 95 points in average. So they say it's not applicable to students who applied for bilingual program. That's all we can see about scholarships from this university. That's all, there's nothing else. But I just want to give you another tip. There's nothing else that's all they listed right here unless they didn't upgrade their website last update was 2019 2019 in august so 
yeah it is what it is that's all information that they have so i would just comment to say about this scholarship that um, yeah it's quite um good option to get discount like if you come to study in korea you will see that the more you know korean language the more you may get scholarship monies like this university so if you are meeting the require the criteria for scholarship and you you find your major at that university and you even have the top top up of the fees and everything and you really want to study there you can follow the application processes and do all the inquiries yourself so that's scholarship number one some universities i'm just talking in general and my disclaimer is I'm sharing for motivation only. I'm not sponsored. I'm just sharing for motivation. So don't ask me how to apply, how to apply. Just ask the relevant people from that university. So I'll give link of the page where I was opening. So I think this kind of 50% what what discount is very good to people who are financially capable of supporting themselves. That's what I think. So that's the page where I was opening if you want to look further into that. So, yeah. So if you, I've seen many students from Asia being beneficiaries of these kind of scholarships. And most Korean universities offer these kind of scholarships where you get some kind of percent discount percent discount and then you do top up for yourself partial scholarship so yeah uh, i've stopped the this university so yeah because i want these uh, videos to be just comprehensive so that someone can catch something so I'm going to stop the scholarship the, about this Kemyong University scholarship. I will change my title and I will share again later about other universities. I want the videos to be short and informative. So if you want to know more information about other scholarships, just join our Facebook group we have shared several links for scholarships where you can actually start studying how to look for the scholarship or checking which scholarships are commonly offered in korea so that you prepare for the application period we are talking of these scholarships right now in august because by december we know starting september october november december those are like times where people are already getting the result to know if they are coming to study here or not like sometimes if it's early around december people can get the result or they will be doing interviews so we are trying to share so that you prepare for the long run we don't want you to be always missing the application period which always happen to people people always miss application period because of some reasons that i don't know so I finished talking about Kemyong University. Uh, next time I will try and um, and share about other scholarships. So I'm trying to edit before I leave here. So uh, I'll put other links in the description or edit later so that people can follow. I am Shelia in Korea if you want. To know about students' life or other, you may check me on my YouTube channel, Shelia in Korea. You can check for links in my, on this page, yeah, on this Facebook page. There are many links from my channel. So check you in the next videos. Good luck, everyone. Keep searching and keep getting the information. One day is one day you will definitely find a scholarship which suits you. This is scholarship type number one, Korean, lang Korean language based scholarships. 
scholarship i'm even saying it at the end so i'll try and record another shorter video and upload again thank you for watching see you in the next videos